Now then guys, welcome to Stras Gaming and welcome back to another Football Manager 24 episode. Episode 3 of my Leicester City stave. Um, as recording of this, I've not released any recordings yet for this FM series. So I'm going to preempt that at this point. I've got to get, I've got at least seven episodes ready, raring to go. So if you've made it to episode number three and you've watched the other two, awesome. Thank you very much. What I'd appreciate, if I can get four or five likes on this video, that'd be awesome. One comment would be lovely if you're the one comment on there. Just do what the people do, just put first or whatever. Just just comment on it. It'd be great to see. And if you have watched the videos from start to finish, let me know how you think of getting on. Let me know what you would do. And hopefully you're enjoying the edits of the highlights of the goals. I feel like it's a nice touch. I just need to tweak the edit a little bit. But we're getting there. So I'm going to start rambling on. We're going to get straight into the first game today against Swansea. And then we have another game. I can't remember who it's against. But we'll just have a quick look at that before we start. So let's get started. Hi guys. Editing Luke here. Um, so I know I've said that you're going to see all the goals in the highlight. You've just seen the Stoke 8-0 win. That's the biggest win we've done. I, As editing, I'm not enjoying trying to do the highlights. It was a good idea for me, but I'm not, not enjoying it. So I do apologise. I'm not really going to go through the results. You can see them on the next screen. You're going to have to pause them. All I'd say is, is just bear with me while I'm getting to grips with recording a series again. I'm just trying to figure out the format of how I want to record it. So... There isn't really going to be any highlights for any goals, and this is going to be going ahead for the next couple of episodes as well. In fact, all the way till the end of the season, because I've got them all recorded and I'm just trying to edit and edit them, and I'm not enjoying doing it, so I just want to get it so I am enjoying it. So enough of me rambling on just here. I'm going to just pop this bit in the video, finish doing the editing, and hopefully I can get the series out and started as soon as possible. So um, let's cut to the actual gameplay. Thanks for listening. So as you've seen in the highlights, we've done really well after the the loss against Southampton. I'm not going to go through them too much. You did see the uh, you did see the goals. The one thing I am going to say is Ineacho is on fire at the minute. He scored five goals in the last game, and very selfishly, or selfishly, yeah, very unselfishly, let Cassidy take a penalty to get his second goal of the game, where it could have given Nacho his sixth goal of the game. So. Well done him. Um, yeah, so we had wins against Norwich, Bristol, Sunderland, Blackburn, Preston and Stoke. And we have actually kept two more clean sheets, three more clean sheets. We are scoring a lot of goals. And I'm changing the formation round as and when I can. I'll play a few games at the 4-3-3 three, three, and then a few games with the, the three at the back just to try and keep things going a little bit. So hopefully we've got Swansea today who were, as recording of the last episode, were kind of up there in second. They dropped down into sixth. And then we have got a game against Sunderland in the league. So six and eight, nothing too crazy. We're top of the league by three points. Plymouth in second, Leeds in third. And yeah, so we're just going to get on, get the technical meeting on. Have a look. I've changed the tactic a little bit. We've gone, instead of um, a high tempo, which I feel like that's what you need to play if you're playing like a counteractive long ball kind of scenario I've twigged if I just put it slightly lower shorter passing hold hold the ball around we get the possession we create more chances and it seems to be working well so I think this is the team we're going to be lining up for Jamie Vardy's still top goal scorer of the season but you can't leave out any actual when he's just scored six goals in the game um I don't think there's any been any more signings or anything made I don't think there has not you've seen them all in the last episode, we have got some injuries. McCool's injured. Medidi is injured, but they're, they're slowly coming back. Um, Dennis Pratt is on the bench. He's not played a game yet this season. And it's just a case of we're struggling with kind of when everyone's fit, who's going to play, which is a nice thing. Because we have got, for example, on this left-hand side, Young's a gun. Been playing. He's been playing well, but he's on loan. Are we going to have him here next season? I don't know. Are we going to try and develop him? Not too sure. We've got uh, Fattery as well. Callum Doyle. So we're just trying to... The players that are ours, I'm trying to 
give them the more game time if we can, but we'll move on from there and just try and develop our own and see if we can sign some of these later on. That's what I'm trying to get at. I'm just dragging it on a little bit. So the team lineup for today. We've got Hermsman, Hamsman, Hermsman. I keep pronouncing his name wrong. In goal. Either Everson or him. I keep swapping them around a little bit as well. Pereira on the right. Connor Cody and Watfoss as the centre pairing duo seem to be doing all right. James Justin, James Justin on the left hand side. Midfield three of Indeedy, Drewsby Hall, and Cassidy. I keep swapping this round for Harry Winks. He can play as a deep line playmaker. Cassidy. I just changing it around a little bit in that midfield there and then the front three we're going to go with Youngs, McAteer and Ineacho up top so I'm going to stop waffling on and let's get into the game and hopefully you guys can see a high scoring game and not just on the highlights what I will say is it's been about a week since I've actually recorded the last episode so highlight to Swansea corner kick Alan they're playing it back and forth from each other but in the actors there back defending what I have noticed when we are defending corners we've got everyone back just to try and keep just the defense on there but we can't really counter from a corner so maybe I might change it up a little bit but I just Leicester aren't great at set pieces they haven't been in real life they've been all right on this save so far but I still don't trust us corner kick though for us Drewsby Hall a bit of a mess in the box. No one's clearing it up. It is offside. And, oh, no, it's a penalty. I don't know what happened there. It's a penalty. That's Ineacho limbering up to take it. He's going to hit it. Hopefully, top corner scores. Goes to the right. Middle, middle height. Keeper probably should have done better. But I'm not too sure why, why we won the penalty. Probably what I need to do, though, is slow the highlight speed down a little bit. And then I'll probably know what's happening. I can speed it up in between the, uh, the recordings just to make it a little bit faster for me. But, Alan... With a corner kick in, and we've just given a penalty away. So, we've won a penalty from a corner, and then we've just given a penalty away from a corner. Hopefully, Grimes is going to miss it. Come on, miss it. Or a save from the keeper. Either or would be nice. A save from the keeper. Get in. Herm's been having a hell of a game so far. An assist and a save penalty. He's only still on a 7.5 rating. What is that all about? He deserves an 8 at least for now. Can we... Uh, Defend this corner, we can. Justin heads it out. There's no one there, and that's the end of the highlight. Corner kick from Uz. McAteer taking it this time. Really need to sort out my set piece takers, I think. Uh, trying to find Ndidi. Does find Ndidi. Ndidi scores, puts it into the back of the net. It's 3 0 just before the half time mark. Three minutes of extra time to play, and we are playing rather well, and it's making it look like this league. Should be done and dusted. Again, their keeper is having a terrible time of it. What's he on? A 6.3. Unlucky for the keeper. Half time is upon us. One thing I will say, and I have noticed it when I'm doing my editing, sometimes I don't finish my sentences. Really weird thing to do. Also, sometimes when I'm wearing headphones, don't know why I'm wearing them because there's no sound playing. It's just normally what I do when I stream. Um, so I'm going to say, no, I'm very happy. Well done, guys. We've done well there. Hopefully we can do the same again in the second half. Make some changes just to freshen up the team. I think Cassidy's going to come off. He's the one that's looking a little bit jaded inside. And Didi as well. The two changes there. Harry Winks and Chowdhury to come on. And I might just do that changes now. Um, yeah. Hang on. There is a highlight coming. But I've decided I'm doing the change now. Uh, we're going to do Chowdhury. He's going to come on. And Harry Winks. I think Harry Winks can be the advanced playmaker. So we're going to do that. Confirm. And let's see what this highlight is going to be. Is it going to be a goal to Swansea? Are we going to win the ball back? Or is it going to be just a chance? Oh, Connor Cody's on a yellow card. I don't like that. I'll probably need to take him off at some point. And, oh, we've just we've just given him a goal. Maybe Connor Cody was being a little bit more jaded because he is on that yellow card. I might take him off as well. Uh, after this. Oh, no. It's going to... What? Hang on. Did that get ruled offside? What is going on? Why is Swansea's goals just not going in? I completely missed something there. Hopefully you guys caught it because I didn't see it. It didn't come up. It, it possibly did, but all right, that's fine. Still 3-0. It's just not Swans' day. Drewsby Hall, though, finds any actual For his hat-trick, he does get his hat-trick. The flag is up, though. I don't, it's not going to count. He's celebrating. Flag's up. This time, I knew it was offside. Well done. Because uh, we didn't get the highlight after their goal saying it wasn't 
in. Yeah, he was offside, unfortunately. That would have been for his hat trick. It would have been nice. I am going to take Connor Cody off, though. I'm going to bring on... Let me just what's going on here. I'm going to bring on Harry. I feel like Harry needs some game time. I just do I just make him as a just a defender. That's kind of what he wants to do. And then I'm just looking at everyone else. James Justin. We need a left back in the January transfer window. I'm going to bring, bring on Callum Doyle. He does all right when he plays at left back. The only issue is when you start him at left back, he isn't great. So we'll have to play in there. Especially when it comes to January. I feel like left back is definitely the option that we need to get. We need to get a left back in. Right back. If we get a left back, we've got James Justin that can play right back and left back. It just gives us that bit more cover. I'd probably just as strong at the defence. That's lovely from Fast then winning that. He's slowly growing into this team. Drewsby Hall plays it's looking to play in the in. Doesn't quite get there. I might drop down to positive a uh, balanced a little bit now. We don't need to play more positive. We might as well just try and focus on a uh, keeping the scoreline how it is. But this time they do put the ball in the back of the net. Swansea are three one up now. No, we're three one up. Swansea have got the goal. And this is the part I don't like about our defence. Like, we're letting them run at it. Drewsby Hall trying to come back and defend, and it's just a ball across the box. We've got just mm, three men over and just two unmarked men in the box. We should be fine. I'm not panicking just yet. We've got a, a throw in, which we should throw it up the line to try and attack, but we give the ball away, and it's Yates in, and then it's a second goal for Swansea, and this game when I thought it was over it the substitutes I've not done anything to the game and this is from Doyle's throwing Yuns heads it Winks misses out Yates wins it and Fast after doing something really good earlier on just loses the ball and now I need to demand a little bit more can I make any more subs or have I made all my subs I've got one more substitute to make who am I going to bring on who can change the game? Who can do something different? Do we bring on Dakar? Do we bring on Vardy? Dakar as well, getting some goals for us, which is quite nice. I might just take any actual off and bring on just Jamie Vardy. And I know we probably should be focusing on sorting out the defence a little bit. I could have gone three at the back, put an extra defender in there, but we'll uh, we'll just bring on Vardy instead. You never know. He might get a touch. He might score. Bringing on the captain. Young's a gun, actually. I didn't actually have a look at that. He's on a 6.4 rating now. No one's having a particularly good game. I've kind of taken off all the, the best players that are performing well. Connor Cody was having a good game. Indeed, he was having a good game. And he actually was having a good game. Now, everyone that's on the pitch is not above a 7. And Winks kind of wins it there. McAteer picks the ball up. Hopefully, he can find a pass for Vardy here. And that's a deflected goal. And he is offside. I don't know how the linesman managed to see that with his back turned. But, yeah, that's two goals now we've had offside. Hopefully we can hold it on. Six minutes of added time. Ooh, we've got a corner to try and contend with. Are we going to concede a late goal? We're not. Hopefully we can hold on and get the win. I might go defensive now. Just go defensive within the last few seconds of the game. Oh, we've managed to win it. Oh my God. It gets nerve-wracking sometimes. Nerve-wracking sometimes. Foss, 6.4 in the end. Harry, 6.5. Yeah, so we took off Justin having a great game. Connor Cody having a good game. So that we took off the best players. Obviously, they're the more tired players. But it definitely had an impact in the game. They managed to get two goals back. An XG 2.5 for us. An XG for 3.44 for them. I feel like Swansea probably should have deserved... They definitely deserve to get something from the game. But... Look, if we're going to win the league, we need to have games like this. And we're going to have close games. We either have really close games or we run away with it. It's got eight goals. But we're going to rest the players. Then we're going to go into the next game against... Was it Sunderland or Southampton? Sunderland. Southampton aren't in the league, Luke. What am I on about? Um, Southampton are in the league, Luke. Shut up. Rest the players and get into the next game. So I wouldn't normally um, come to you at this point of the video in between them, but Tom Cannon is a striker that's not played much this season. Ah, well, he's not played any game yet this season. And he's just got some uh, crucial ligament damage. A 20-year-old, he's out for 8 to 10 months. I feel like that maybe he is Leicester career 
done unless he may come back. Also, I've just seen Inacho. I had a chat with Inacho today. It's clearly the player has something we'd like to discuss. He's exploring the options because he's at the end of his contract. I might try and see if I can convince him to, to stay. I'm going to explore my options at the end of my contract. I owe myself that. Um, I'd really employ you. Can, you uh, do, 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 do. I can't speak. Hang on. Let's just have a quick read. Um, I'm not going to accept it. I want to try and get him to stay. So what we're going to say here... I'm going to try. We're ambitious and we want to achieve great things, but we need you to be a part of it. I recognise the ambitions, but I still have to look at my options. You must understand. Mm. I'm going to put, I really want you to reconsider and I sincerely hope you do. I don't want him to leave. I want him to stay. I dismiss it. I'm afraid I'm going to have to go. I'm afraid I'm going to have to do things my way. I'm sorry. I think we're done here. It's annoying. If we got promoted, I wonder if he'd want to stay. Like, do we let him go in January and get the money for him? Or do we try and keep him? I don't know. We'll have to have a ponder on that. Uh, let's get into this next game anyway. So here we are. We have made a couple of changes. I'm going to bring in Everson in goal. Only reason why, I've realised he's actually down as the first choice goalkeeper. And Hernsman is the backup keeper. I'm going to give him a chance today against Sunderland, see how he does. Um, the only other change I've made, I'm bringing in Fatui instead of Young's of Gun. He didn't have the, the greatest of game last game, so we'll change that. Uh, oh yeah, and Harry Winks has come in over Cassidy. reason why, I'm just trying to rotate players here and where I can, and Harry Winks is just as good to come in there. We're not kind of making the team any worse, if, if you want to say. So that's the... Uh, that's the main thing. We don't want to weaken the team when we can rotate. We want to get the players in that are, I reckon, are good enough to play in these roles. And just rotating the keeper from time to time isn't going to hurt. You are going to get injuries in the season for goalkeepers. It is it is a thing in Football Manager 24. It definitely was in the beta. So we'll see how we go. Uh, I'm still going to keep any actor on. I was actually going to start Vardy. Um, but we, we've kept, kept Klitschy on. Obviously, he wants to leave. He wants to explore his contracts. But... If I play him more, he's going to score more goals. If we get a good offer for him in January, 20 plus million, do we take it? Um, and then kind of focus on if we can bring someone in next season. Oh, God, we're playing it out the back dangerously there from a, uh, from a corner kick. Obviously, because we're not keeping anyone up, we can't counter. I might look to change that a little bit. Um, but Ricardo plays it back here. That's what I want us to do. Kind of throwing wise when we're in the halfway line. I want us to just regroup, keep the keep the possession, look to pass and see what we can do. Fattery to Drewsby Hall, plays it to Justin. He's got some space. He's now into the box. Oh, he's going in. He has a shot himself and it goes out for a corner kick. He probably could have done better. McAtee is going to be the one taking the corner though. Can he find the head of Ndidi? He can't. Fast doesn't win the ball, but Fattery hopefully picks up the ball here. He does turns. Finds his pass to Connor Cody. And that is the end of the highlight. But here we go, Justin. He's going to throw it back. Let's keep the possession. That's what I want us to do at this point. Don't throw it forward. I don't want to lose the ball there. Oh, Fatui should have done better. In fact, he did do better. And it's bundled in by McAteer. I don't know if he's offside or not. That I think the ref has given it. No, he hasn't. It's offside. We didn't get the... Uh, I don't know why it's not giving us the replays for the offsides. It did look offside, but they've just scored... And is this going to be a repeat of the last episode where we win the first game and we're going to lose against Sunderland and they're going to get camera shy? It's not nice, is it, when this happens? But from a throw-in. And do you know what I should have done? We're at home. Normally, the home games, I change the formation and play the other formation. Probably should have done that. I'm going to go attacking, though. We're at home. Um, Sunderland, we've got room to lose, but I don't want to lose. I want to keep winning, so I'm going to demand more already. And then we're going to have to... If we go another goal down... And I think we will here, you know. I don't think we were defending very well. And it's now 2-0. Two, two I'm not liking this. I'm getting flashbacks of the last episode. Right, we've got a free kick here. Fatui's going to take this. Hopefully... Oh, he, he goes for it. He's close. 
I don't know why McAteer didn't take it or Drewsby Hall. Again, I still need... I probably haven't set up my uh, my set-piece takers. I probably should do that. Um, unfortunately, though, I'm going to yell at the team. What was that? And then I've got to, I've got to change up. If we're not we're not doing well, let's go to this this other formation. Out of the def like the midfielders, who's playing well? How, is Ndidi having a good game? 6.5? Probably not. So if I bring on... And I'm going to bring on Harry there. Bring Connor Cody in the middle. We'll do that. You have been playing well as a good ball-playing midfielder. Then we're going to go with... Now. Do we play... No. McAteer can go there. I didn't realise, actually, if I can play there. But we're going to have Ineacho and a Jamie Vardy up top. The two top goal scorers are going to be on the pitch. That's going to be pressing forward. McAteer can do that role. And... Yeah... Wink, central midfielder. That's We're going to have to do some changes. That's what we're going to have to do this second half. And hopefully, we can um, we can do well. Probably swapping the goalkeeper is... In my head, we've, we've conceded two goals. And I've changed the goalkeeper. But it's not that. We've not scored. So hopefully, we can... With the formation change at home, we can score straight from the uh, the kickoff. And we almost do. Harry Winks, that's, that's the perfect start that we wanted. Walk fast. The highlight hasn't ended. James Justin finding the Acho. He's going to put it into the back of the net. And we score. It's 1-0. No, it's not. It's 2-1. We are doing rather well now. As soon as we've kicked off, 28 seconds, 30 seconds into this uh, second half. And we've got a goal back. The game is on. It's making it look like this formation change and this tactic change has just gone really well for us. And it's going to be another highlight to ourselves. Connor Cody. Winks and probably the team talk as well. Like having a go at them is just they're expected to win, and I expect them to win. I feel like that's what they they, they know what we need to do. McAteer is running in, he's fine there, and then he actually again gets his second goal of the game. It's now two two, and we've turned things around. Tactical genius, I am. The home games I need to remember to play this formation, and Winks plays McAteer. I thought Vardy was going to get this, but Cross comes in. And Ineacho scores. And I was looking to maybe taking him off, you know. He wasn't having a great first half. He was very quiet. Um, obviously, we did have that goal ruled offside, unfortunately. But I think it's two minutes into this uh, second half. And we've we've got it level again. So, hopefully, it's not going to be where we get back into the game and we, we concede another goal. But it's on us. Vardy's in here. Oh, my God. Are we going to... Oh, Vardy, 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 Vardy. Should have done better there. I was going to say, are we going to get into the lead within the first five minutes of the second half. But 2-2, we'll take that. What I'm thinking of maybe doing, I want to get Patterson Dacker on. I'm going to drop... Oh, no. I was thinking maybe dropping Klitschi and Acho as the attacking midfielder because he can play in that position. Drewsby Hall with the shot. Why not go for it? I'm not going to make any changes just yet, though, because we're, we're doing all right. The team is... The team is rallied. Drewsby Hall... Harry's there, heads it towards the ground. Unfortunately, it's a nice, easy uh, pickup for the uh, goalkeeper. I don't know what was going on there with the highlights. One to us. What is going on here? Are we? The ball is over there. Okay, here we go. We're going to play a short corner. We've not played a short corner in a while. I've not seen him. Vardy. Oh, my God. Vardy picks the ball up. Vardy. Ugh, trying to find... Is that any hatcher there for his hat-trick? I know he's on his hat-trick. He's tied. Makatit. Right, okay. I am going to do this. Right. Patterson Dacker is going to be the advanced forward. Ineacho, he can play there, but I'm going to put him as the shadow striker. We're going to have three attackers on the pitch, and then I'm going to bring on Cassidy uh, for Harry Winks, just to uh, strengthen up the uh, midfield a little bit. Ricardo's looking a little bit tired. I want us to now push on. and try. I'm going to go attacking. I probably shouldn't go attacking. Demand more. I'm also, I think I've got a couple more changes to make. I have got one more substitute to make. I'm going to bring on... When it, oh, I hate it. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, Youngs, can you can you play in that position? Mm, no. This is the problem. I haven't got any wing backs. I wonder if Callum Doyle can play there. I'm going to try and bring Callum Doyle on in this wing back position. He's not good enough to play there. Well, he's not even like familiar with the role, but. We'll see. We've got a freak here. Cassidy. He goes for the shot. And he, oh, I thought that was us having a shot going in. Not really paying attention to what's going on. It's 2-2, though. We've, we've got it back. We did all the work within the first five minutes of this second half. And then 
We didn't want to do anything else. We drew. It's fine. We got a point. The change of formation really did help. Um, obviously, I took McAtee off. He was key at getting them goals. Look at the defence there. Connor Cody, Harry and Foss on the 7 rating. Drewsby Hall, the midfield worked really well. We pulled it back. We definitely deserved to win the game. We had 21 shots, 12 on target, over three of an XG. We did get that goal disallowed in the 12th minute. And yeah, we had 60% of the possession, which I want to see. I want us to keep possession, which is quite nice. So yeah, we did all right. It, we should have won that game. We should have won it. If I go into like the the press conference here, I'd say, look, we're unlucky. We didn't we didn't take a chance. We had the goal ruled offside or whatever it was. We didn't see the highlight of it. Um, we had that lapse of concentration in the first half. We, we gave ourselves a disadvantage, but we came out in the second half. We fought within the first five minutes, got the two goals, and then we, we kept going. But unfortunately, it was just one of them games that you're not going to put the ball in the back of the net. So that, unfortunately, is it. Um, but look, we're still four points clear at the top. Yes, I just had to count on my hands just to try and work that out. Um, where are, I know where we're going to come next because we've got the next the next game in the Cowbell Cup is Nottingham Forest and then we've got Leeds. So we're only going to have a one game break in between the in between these episodes. So yeah, the next one should be a good one. Nottingham Forest in the Premier League. We want to beat them. They're our rivals. They should have got relegated last year, not us. And then we've got Leeds, who are third. It's going to be a big game. So that is the end of this episode. End of episode three. So if you've got all the way to the end of this, you know what to do. Please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new to this channel. Let me know down below what you think to the game. Let me know if you're playing it. Let me know what saves you're playing. Let me know what you'd do differently. And other than that, I hope you're staying safe wherever you are. Take it easy, and I'll see you in a bit.